Uh, well, uh, Brent and Sarah, I can tell you that uh, earlier this morning, police say they were called here to the intersection of uh, Bloomfield Avenue and Cottage Grove Road just before 9 o'clock this morning. Now, when officers arrived, uh, they say they found 31-year-old Timothy Ross of Bloomfield suffering from gunshot wounds. Now, police started uh, CPR until paramedics arrived. He was then rushed to St. Francis Hospital, where he later died. Now, when we arrived on scene, we could see this gray Toyota Camry in the middle of the street with both the driver and passenger doors opened with a dented hood and bullet holes in the back driver's side window with shattered glass. Now, police are looking for a man driving a smaller white SUV with South Carolina plates of JDD 955. That's JDD 955. Now, if you happen to see that car, you're asked to immediately contact local or state police. Investigators say the suspect, whom they have not yet identified, should be considered armed and dangerous. Now, people who live and work nearby shocked that something like this would happen on such a busy road early in the morning. That's pretty scary, to be honest, because like I said, this town is a pretty safe town. You know, I don't I don't hear this kind of stuff every day mm -hmm. and I have family and my family's always visiting. So I'm a little concerned now, you know. Now, Bloomfield Avenue was closed for four hours while police investigated the scene, also impacting workers and customers at a nearby retail plaza with the Starbucks and a Trinity Health of New England clinic and urgent care. Now, the Starbucks location was closed out in abundance of caution, but reopened just before one o'clock this afternoon. A spokesperson for Trinity Health of New England said that the clinic contacted patients this morning to reschedule their appointments as needed, but the clinic and urgent care center are open. Now, investigators are asking that if anyone has a video or or any information about this morning's shooting to contact Bloomfield Police. In Bloomfield, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.